Hello again, and welcome back to the Card Mat, all you Card Mat alcoholics. Yeah, officially named the Card, uh, card Mat alcoholics, all of you lot. Can't get enough, can you? Like me sitting in the pub. Who needs to sit in the pub? No, that's nearly all gone. I have to get another one. Right, just a little idea. Um, you could use this as like an opener to you know, table hopping or something. A nice little icebreaker or an idea for a, a little packet trick you know to show that you're actually mixing the cards up as long as you're not in your packet trick you're not using a ghost card or a face up card or different colored backs if it's just genuine cards and they've got to be in a set order ideal because it looks like you're actually shuffling them but you're not shuffling them i'm going to show you two different ways of doing it because i'm very kind first way is obviously you break your pack exactly in half and then you proceed to do a perfect farrow i haven't got my little lamp on so i might struggle you do a perfect farrow then just do a reverse farrow you know where this is going but the spectator won't have a clue they're just seeing you mixing the cards up and you haven't really because if they're mixed up, I'll give you £500. Oh, look at that, they're in the right order. God almighty, I should have, I'll have to look down there before I start betting money. Lost a lot of money like that. Yeah, so that's the first and the easiest one. Make sure you break your packet exactly in half, not at the seven, but at the six in this instance. Do yourself a perfect farrow. Wow, where was that getting off to? Phew. I think some of my cards have gone on holiday to Africa or Jamaica or the North Pole or somewhere. No, me probably out of space. Yeah, and then you do a reverse farrow and pop them out and put them to the bottom. And there's your, your little stacky pack, all stacky packed the way you stacked your pack. Yeah. Another way of doing it, it looks a bit more convincing. It's a bit bit longer not too long you know what i'm like but this isn't too long again you'd split your pack in half and you do your little perfect farrow i forgot to mention your back packet always goes top card which is your top packet your top packet comes to the back and always goes as top card so you've done your little farrow then you just deal them down into two piles looks like they're getting a mix up this way Especially when you pick one of the packets up and then you shuffle this packet into that packet. Which sounds painful, but the cards don't mind, really. They don't. They quite, quite enjoy it, really, I think. And then you just deal two more piles. But this time, put your second pile on top of your first pile. And again, your packet will be exactly the same way that you wanted it to be when you started doing whatever you were doing before you'd done that. So you'll still get the same results because it's all the same. Yeah. So I'll just run over that second one again. And here's where I'll probably mess up everywhere now. Break your packet in half. Do yourself your perfect little farrow. Deal two piles. And with having only having a couple of cards doing a little packet trick, it does make it a lot easier to farrow your cards, by the way. You haven't got as many to control, not like a full big pack. As long as you get your first card going right, the rest will glide into place exactly where you want them. Can't get my cards to go straight. Was it my eyes which have gone wonky? I think it's my eyes have gone wonky. That's gone into second place see that but when i get it going on to the top you are messing up stop messing about come on play the game there we go and once you've done your second one that was still the second one by the way in case you forgot because i seem to take for ages you deal two piles again but this time instead of farrowing together just pick the right hand packet up or the second packet you dealt and throw it on top of the first packet you dealt and again you've done absolutely zilty pop to your pack because it's all the same yeah i so say you can use it as a little opener if you want to you could start off something like 
have a look at this i've got all the cards here running ace the queen and a very very strange cards these they are because you see if i take the cards like so and i give them a little shuffle together just to mix the bloody things up you wouldn't believe this i'll even deal them down onto the table like this look at that i mean every time but you won't believe the outcome because i get the cards and I'll, I'll even shuffle these back in together watch this this is how kind i am just to show you that i am really mixing these cards up i'll shuffle them back in together and once more i will deal two piles of cards look you watch me as i deal two piles of cards with my superhuman powers i won't bother put shuffling them i'll just put them together now we've got to mix the packet up haven't we so you can pick a card out of this mixed up packet you see what i mean you can have a little comedy bit of value to the start of your openers if you like what you see, well you see what i mean or what i'm getting at um i'm going yeah hang on one minute need this there we go thank you very much for watching this little bit of madness um hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching all you card mataholics and i will see you again soon i'm going to kill that to death now i am i'm going to use that all the time card mataholics brilliant I'll see you again soon just wanted to show me thumbs again